Are you ready for the next step, Commander? Do it. Ayat! Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet! They are certainly in for a surprise. Indeed. And this time, victory will be ours. You ready, Noah? I think Periel already took off for the palace. How's that? The Alliance seeks to hire a culinary mind. Huh, hmm, yes, an intriguing thought. Alas, I'm already on a mission to find a recipe for the legendary dish known as Grilled Tatuva. I'm told the people who devised it are all bark and, um... Well, that's it, actually. All bark. Whatever could that be referring to? Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. 
Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in! Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius, Melridge, Noah, pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial armies here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel.
I'll have you be quiet there. Thank you. Drop the enemy! Time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yar! To battle! What? A second force? Where the hell did they come from? There's the tactician signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, second lieutenant. <laughs> General Goldwind, I presume. Your reputation precedes you, General Cassius. Now, let us put it to the test. But to withdraw. Concentrate your attack. Don't miss. Drop the enemy. Yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Are we ready? Oh, yeah. She's in a great mood today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant.
Enemy troops sighted. Prepare to attack. You're just a stain on my sword. Troops, I'm ordering a retreat. At last, some damn order. Now form up and prepare for the next. If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost, but to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! <sighs> Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! <laughs> Look at him run! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it! Now, we return to Haishan triumphant! Importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah, even I've heard of the guy, so I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may... Who were those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these cell swords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the royal treasury and more that was earmarked for the studium and archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. Well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
something on your mind, Zane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldric wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. But these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well? This is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but... I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes, that's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them? I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace. The battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time, Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, 
as how to hold a keen edge. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! Facing, coordinates, wind direction, all nominal. I am ready for a flawless battle. You Christians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly! For he will fight with even more fury this day! How droll that they considered that a victory! They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe! For today, it will all come crashing down around them! In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor! Concentrate your attack! Don't miss! Drop the enemy! You be quiet there, thank you. Listen to me, everyone. You may have heard the rumors already, but His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Dukes Aldrich is the man behind it. I have had ample opportunity to witness the Dukes' tyranny, and have come to believe the invasion of Eucharist is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. They're cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you. And they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's sane! I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! 
That company is under the Kessling boys' command. The lad takes after his brother. Engage the enemy! General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once. No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in! We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. But... but this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will, but I have no intention of fighting for your Dukes. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? The projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no fate. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Which means we can finish this here and now.
Initiating combat. Enemy unit defeated. But stay alert. Enemy legion crushed. You did well. I was to claim victory here. Me, for the glory of Duke's Ald. Is it over? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. I've protected my kingdom and my king. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then... we won? Yes, Your Majesty. We won. That's... that's wonderful! Yes, thank you all so much! I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. It was a mutual effort, Your Majesty. 
You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, someone's seen a little swagger already. I gotta agree. <laughs> we finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it! <laughs> My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Sane. This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. Thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat? Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? How? Duke's Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. 
The invasion of you, Chris, was simply a tidy way to displace the General for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes, well... Still, if the Resistance Army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda. My ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? So, what is it that you hope to gain from all this milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No, my wish is far more modest. Rise and shine, Noah. Big meeting in the Great Hall. Up and at him. Let's go. Let's go. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? And second, aren't you supposed to be in you, Chris? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. I intend to do so to the best of my abilities. And since as I'm still under contract with a tactician, I guess I'm coming aboard as well. Not gonna complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. We 
Wait, what? Uh, but I'm just filling in for you, right? I mean, I'm not a leader. Not a real one, anyway. Not a leader? The man who secured the use of this castle? Who forged an alliance with the Tree Folk? Who won the battle for you, Chris? Do you try to show a little more confidence? But... I thought you liked to meddle. If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Ymir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. <laughs> this is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. Take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. Godea no longer pursues a righteous path, but by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling, and follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. I don't feel like my expression is any different. Because it's not. <laughs> I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps, if I may. You, kiddo? Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. <clears throat> As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucharist, but yet remains a heavy presence in Groom. We must be prepared for when Dukes Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about Imperciak, 
the Shi'ar capital in the desert feast of Eucharist. The Shi'ah now? The Shi'ahs. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors who prize valor above all else. Fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the King's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Impershark and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Checkpoints northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town, the Bavi. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. Now, as for the other way to make a difference. At this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Keslin for his assistance in this matter. We've already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldrich seizing power. We think it's better for us to go talk to them since there are people in all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Leon? The others will come around once they get to know the lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Do everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. You, uh, probably want a little help with that? You know me, always in perfect traveling condition. You're safe in my hands. For love and friendship. Great, I'm in. Come along! If you 
need me, I'm yours. I'm pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kessling, good luck to you both. Thank you. We'll knock your socks off! Try not to let you down. Oh, we might even let you up! I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. Pressure's on, Sane. Who's gonna finish first? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes. I'm fretting the details again. <laughs> uh, yep, some things never change. 